I boot here and this is strange slash gratitude vlog day 210 <laughs> yeah so yesterday I talked about calming down relaxing and just sharpening the saw so in a way giving yourself a point of view of the big picture and then take on the challenge so it's all from the little book of hope by Paul Wilson and my interpretation of it so today um, it says something about getting older isn't necessarily a bad thing it's actually a good thing because we get more wiser more experienced and we are available to many people so in essence of this we are getting wiser I want to tell you this story um, John Asaraf asked this question um, if you could tell, tell your story in just six sentences how would you tell your story and he says his is when I was young I was a street kid who never thought I'd amount to anything then I met a few mentors who showed me that it was possible to change my brain and my future now I spend my life helping tens of thousands tens of millions of people around the world changing their brains so they can accomplish their goals and live the life of their dreams so three sentences sorry <laughs> yeah so mine is I think it's six sentences okay mine is I've always been this person of unlimited energy but I got in a valley of shame and went down the road of hiding myself one day my mind was overloaded with this shame playing hide and seek with my soul and most of all living a life of pretending to be someone I wasn't and my mind crashed into a wall of stress and mental distress here my real journey began my journey of self-acceptance and restoration or as I call it choosing where I wanted my hope hope hopes to be which led me to a road of replenishing in the hope faith and love given by our Lord Jesus Christ the Redeemer in short finding my gratitude and that was actually what I wrote on his page and he said that it was very beautiful written um, so yeah I'm so thankful for that compliment as well and it's a inner size that you can try yourself try to tell your story in this I think it's about 
six to three sentences. Yeah. Three sentences. Yeah. So, in short, finding my gratitude. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. For me, it has always been about this gratitude. And I think that it's always about some kind of strength in us that we want to develop more and more, to gain more and more knowledge, to gain more and more skills, to re advent ourselves to come to a place where we really really can't get off the stage <laughs> so we are in the arena and we just love it and this is how we do it this is how we do it <laughs> yeah so yeah um I am full of gratitude and hope and joy and meaning in life today in this n notion of when I had this kind of uh, panic um, Yeah, panic attack of a kind. I, I sh envisioned for myself Jesus Christ embracing me. And in that I was safe in, in my own skin. And then I envisioned the Holy Spirit lights. A fire in me um, and then I envisioned this father the father of uh, Godfather not Godfather uh, God the father um, reaching to my heart and cleansing it and giving me his renewed heart yeah and so i became at ease i became more relaxed more in tune with myself and it went away just as I did that it was amazing and just feeling this notion makes me grateful for, for getting this far yeah so yeah why now I'm grateful for that um, for guessing this far yeah and knowing that I'm always in safe hands yeah and how can one use that one can use that by getting in tune with where your hopes is where you envision yourself being safe and sound and really turned on by the spirit I really recommend some kind of a safe place you can envision when you are in any kind of distress yeah so that's all I had for you for today um, I hope it doesn't uh, do anything that's been so long if it is uh, a long video <laughs> so um, remember always let your greatness shine
and if you like the video if you got inspired you can comment you can subscribe and even hit that like button and you can share I'd like you to share thanks for me see ya